After Saturday afternoon into those high 50s, even some of those low 60s will be even warmer on our Sunday afternoon. We're thinking mid 60s to even some low 70s for us towards the towns in the southwest. So in quite a warm evening, but that's because of our southerly flow that will be even breezier than what we were seeing today. Expect 15 to 25 mile per hour winds sustained towards the afternoon. So we will feel some gusts there into the 30s. So if you do have any outdoor activities, keep that in mind and our rain chances will come back starting early Monday. Really overnight Monday is when we can expect more of those rain chances to come tonight. We're going to wake up on the warmer end here. We're talking 43 degrees for our afternoon for our morning low, excuse me, and those winds will still stay 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the southwest overnight. So it will feel like those mid to upper 30s as you were heading out the door tomorrow morning. But don't worry, we'll get that nice warm up. We're talking 67 degrees and again those winds 15 to 25 miles per hour and of course we will have much of that warmer day but also some more clouds will continue to sift on through our way and we will continue to see our rain chances climb come our Monday. Here's what we're looking at by four o'clock. We're starting to see more of that rain push on through ahead of this next cold front by 10 o'clock. Expect those widespread showers and those will really continue for us throughout the day. Not until our Tuesday morning arrives will we get a little bit of a break here. Expect mostly cloudy conditions towards our Tuesday morning and through the afternoon and you're seeing us drop here from our 67 degree mark to 55 on our Monday 51 by our Tuesday. A little bit of a break as I said on our Tuesday morning and afternoon, but once we get back to Wednesday through Saturday, more of those chances finally cool enough on Saturday to get some snow chances.